Welcome to January's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is add two numbers. You are given two empty linked lists, non-empty linked lists representing two non-negative integers. The digits are stored in reverse order and each of their nodes contains a single digit. Now we want to add these two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. So we're going to have to create a new linked list to do this. Now the easiest way to do this is probably go through our linked list, create a string of the integer um, and we convert those into an integer, add them, and then we create our linked list, right? And that's probably the easiest way to do it. It's a little bit tricky because you have to do a lot of conversions um, from int to string back to int. But let's start with that approach because that's the most straightforward and easy to understand. So to begin with, we're going to create two empty strings here, uh, representing the first number and the second number. Now, while we have L1, we are going to add to our and one a string of this digit. But keep in mind that we need to do this backwards. We're gonna have to prepend the value. So it's gonna be something like string of l1.val plus n1. Next move l1 to equal l1.next. Now we do the same thing for l2. n2 equals string l2.val plus n2 here. And n2 equals l2.next. Now we have a string of both the n1 and n2, right? But we have to convert these into an integer, and we got to make sure that if it's empty, they're going to they're going to become zero, right? Because if it's just an empty, then we I think we assume that it's a zero. So uh, if not n1, then n1 is going to equal zero here, and if not n2, then n2 is going to equal zero like this. Now we want to uh, sum the two up, so I'll call this sum. <clears throat> and we want to add, convert to an integer and just add them together. Now, great, now we have this sum here, right? But this is an integer. We need to reconvert that back into a string to create our list. So to do that, what I'm going to do is first start with creating a dummy node. Uh, we'll have cur and we'll say list node is uh, just an empty list node here. And we will do for i in, let's see, string of sum, and we need to reverse this. Oops, reversed. And what we're gonna do is say cur uh, dot next is gonna be equal to a list node of i. Oh, and I got to make this into a integer, right? And cur equals cur.next. Finally, we just return the dummy.next here. So let's make sure this works. Um, could have easily messed something up, but okay, it looks like that's worked. So what we did was create a string of this 807, and then we reverse it, and then we create our linked list. So this should work, um, perfectly acceptable, but can we do better than this? Well, um, one thing that helps us with this problem is that the number is in reversed order. So uh, one of the benefits to that is we could actually add the two in real time. And if like these two numbers from the beginning say this, uh, would look like this number three four two and uh, four six five like if we had to carry over a number like say this was like six here then we could just do use the modular function to create a list node with whatever remains and carry over if there's something greater than 10 over to the next uh, list node right and that takes care of itself because even if this was a longer number something like that like at this point, we can just say, uh, don't add anything here. Uh, if, but if there's something to carry over, then carry that over. So I'll show you what I mean. It's actually quite simple. Uh, what we can do is we'll still have to create our dummy node and a current with list node empty. And we want to have some sort of number to indicate to us what we need to carry over. So in the beginning, we might just start with carry over zero. So while there's an L1, or there's an L2. Uh, let's check to see if we have a value in here. So if L1 and L2, then we want to um, initialize a number, right? So 
this will be the digit, I'll just call it D, and at the very first we'll, we'll mark it as carry over here. So if L1 and L2, we're going to add to this number um, where the sum is between those two. So L1.val plus L2.val. Otherwise, if there's only L1, we are going to do the same thing, but only add L1.val. And else, if there's only L2, then we are going to uh, only add oops, L2.val here. And we have to also make sure to increase our L2 to L2.next. Same thing here, L1 equals L1.next. Here we have to do both. L1 equals L1.next, L2 equals L2.next. It's probably a cleaner way to write this, but, but whatever for now. Okay, so now we want to calculate our carryover here. And how we'll do that is just use the divide. We'll say carryover. Whatever the sum is of D, if there's a remainder after we divide by 10, that's going to be what we carry over to the next. Otherwise, what we'll do is uh, for cur.next, we are going to make a list node of whatever this D is, modular 10, because we only want to make that single digit, right? After that, we just increase our cur to cur.next. And I'm pretty sure we can just return our dummy.next here, which is the head. All right, so let's make sure this works. So this, um, I guess, would be O of n time complexity as far as however many digits there are inside of our number. Um, uh, God, I hope I didn't mess something up here. Okay, so it looks like that's working, but I'm going to submit this and you'll see that this actually will not be accepted because we have this issue where we have uh, the carryover not adding inside of our loop because it, there might be a carryover left and we have to add that as well. Uh, so just take care of that edge case. We'll say, all right, if carryover exists, uh, then we'll just also say cur.next equals this node and here will always be a one, right? And I should, I can probably just say, all right, if carryover equals one, then, then do that. They'll never be, they'll never be greater than one. And sometimes lead code slow like this. Um, apologize. I can't tell if it's working or if it's just slow but there we go accepted so that does work and it is slightly faster than the previous version um so for some reason it's a lot faster this time yeah and that's it so thanks for watching my channel and remember do not trust me i know nothing